All right, so I'm going to show you how to do a 90 degree bend on trunking. So basically, you just choose, like let's just say for example you butted that up to the wall or wherever you want it and you want to do a bend here that goes straight down, so like a 90 degree bend. All you need to do is work out the distance between wherever you want it to the inside of the trunking or the outside of the trunking, just choose the side. I normally do just the inside, so it honestly doesn't matter, but you just you find out where you want the very left. So let, let me just give you an example. Say you have trunking and you want it like that. You don't measure from the start to the center. Well, I don't anyway. You can, but I don't. I just measure from the start to the very left or the very right. Just choose a side. So, for this example, we'll just use the very left. So, let's just say one meter. I go. One meter. Then we just do a line. And that is going to be the very left. So basically, we just get the combination square and we go up. up so remember that's to the very left we're going to cut out this section so it folds down and that will be in line with there so to make it easy where the crosses are is what we are cutting out so for that to bend you will need to you will need to just make, get a mark in the center and just snip just that section out not all the way up just that section in the center Basically, we've just measured a meter and then just gone 45, 45, so we can find out the section that we're cutting out, so it just bends down. Now, this is the bit that I think is important. On one of the sides, I leave a bit of an overhang and I'll explain that later. Just cut it out. Instead of cutting where that line is, we're going to cut this one and leave a bit of an overhang.
left roughly about 10 mil doesn't need to be perfect and we cut this and that's going to fold down so because there's a bit of an angle there I normally just just by eye So I've left a bit of an overhang, so if you do it perfect um, and you know the wall's not perfect or you haven't cut it perfect you can always see a bit of a gap. So I just leave a bit of an overhang so it just looks perfect like that. what it's gonna look like so that's a 90 so I've just cut that not caring that it's the opposite way like, I just don't care but as you can see that's that is exactly one meter to this section exactly one meter see I did a measurement from there to the inside and I just flipped it over and just did it for the purpose of this demo but because you flipped the trunking over you just got to make sure you're doing it the right way so I've obviously cut it backwards because I just flipped it and didn't even care but um, I would have like turned the trunking around if that makes sense just because you're flipping it over so everything's reversed but basically it's one exactly a metre to there and now we'll do the lid a metre to the inside and we'll go across like that and bear with me because I'll show you a trick or a bit of a tip When you cut it, don't cut all, like don't go like that because you get creases. Just do nice gentle cuts. Just, the, it doesn't matter on this, but when you're doing the face, you want it to look good. So there's nice gentle cuts. There's no crease marks.
Right, so for this section, obviously needs to be like that. But instead of cutting it perfect, I'm going to cut it. I know it looks rough as, but wait to the end. So it looks rough, but when you put it on, and that's obviously going to be fixed in position. That's what it's going to look like when it's fixed in position. So once again, you don't need to do it perfectly straight on this one. Actually purposely do a bit more so it slides into position like that. Um, the only other tip I can give you is I actually wouldn't do it how I did it there on a job. Like if this was the vertical piece and that was up high going like horizontal, I always do the neat straight cut on this bit. So when you're below, you're not looking up into it. But um, same deal, I'd just do the straight cut on this and on this one I'd do the the bend basically that's what it looks like and also like on the job you obviously do it peel the plastic off and then do it but this is just the rubbish piece I didn't I haven't peeled the plastic off that or anything I'm just showing you how I cut them and if you practice and you are on a job and you realize like or you notice that um I don't know, you've done something and it's fouling. You can always snip little bits to make it work, but that's, you'll, basically you'll do this and you'll come across things and you'll, you'll learn and you'll learn for next time, but the best way is just to practice. That's it.